Blood Bowls Road in uh, South Australia near Wollonga Hill. We've started this segment. We got the worst possible lead out ever here from Christian. <laughs> um, we, Dan, who we were riding 200Ks today, that's Christian. It was Dan, me, Christian, and Anna. Um, and this is the start of the segment. Uh, it's a good 15 minute climb with some gravel parts. Pretty steep at some parts, a couple rollers. And anyway, the segment started just at that junction and goes to the very end of the junction. So Dan was like, oh, Christian, just do a lead out for like three minutes. And like, we're just cruising along at 30Ks an hour on the flat. So I don't think Christian knows the climb has begun, but Dan's like told everyone it was. That was a ridiculously close pass on a bridge where I was going around. A, we had, there was like some poles in the middle of the road and stuff. Dumb driver, but nonetheless, drivers are pretty friendly down south, quite enjoyed that. A lot more just, I think it's just there's less traffic, etc. So people are just a bit more chilled out, which is pretty beautiful. And you can see here, we're now, now picking up a little bit up to 400, which is nice. Um, and then Christian just decides that this is the effort and just absolutely sprints up this gradient. Like we're doing 24 k's an hour for like a six, seven percent gradient, which is pretty fast. And then it sort of peaks up to 10 here and Christian just gets out of the saddle and absolutely wrecks it. Like fucking accelerating so hard. I'm up to 500 watts there and I'm like, I've got 15 minutes to go, man. I ain't doing this for like the whole time. I'm gonna pop. So I sort of let the wheel go because I knew Dan was gonna let the wheel go. I was like, I, there's no point going that hard this early on. So Christian ends up soloing off and I'm like, all right, I'll just catch up to Dan. Because it then slack, like sort of gets back down to about 5%. So you're getting a decent draft, especially from Dan, because he's quite a big guy. So that's that's nice. Um, and so I'd heard there were some gravel parts, but Dan didn't really know the climb that well. I think he just knew it from the Google Maps. So we weren't 100% sure like what the gravel was going to be like, how steep it's going to be. Because like the Strava gradients often aren't really very accurate or they have like loads of surges and then stopping it's like the stopping surges and like downhill sometimes is there's no down on the climb it's like weird and you can see here so this is pretty much a flat corner you then turn left not that sharp to be honest we could have probably brow that a little bit faster and then this is really where the main climb begins but the segment obviously starts at the um at the crossroads is a bit weird but anyway so i was like all right i'll just hold down dan's wheel see how i feel i was feeling pretty confident on this one i was like yeah it should, should be able to do well normally these climbs do a bit Deeper and then sur and more surgy sort of suit me a bit better, but I don't know. I didn't feel great this today, but anyway, so I was like, let's hold Dan's wheel until the end. Christian's now popped. Dan just goes straight round him, and <laughs> Christian's like, oh bollocks, <laughs> I'm gonna get dropped. Uh, so then, yeah, he gets dropped. Poor bloke. Um, so you can see we're not really like we're going up eight percent at 18 k's an hour, so we're not really like going mental. But I think the gr this is where the road surface gets really bad. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's like a really just rubbish road surface is just so like bumpy and not smooth at all it's more like sort of stones stuck to the road than like sort of a smooth surface which is like all together like the stones seem a bit like out of place and not very uniform which is a bit annoying so you can see here dan's now pulling up to 450 460 watts and this is really hurting and i was like all right we'll just we'll just make it to the top of this one so i could see the i could see the top of this and i was like i've know there's some kickers there might be some downhills we just survived to this and just hold down to wheels. so i sort of do mental notes sort of like to myself just like hold the wheel come on and on these steep ones like it's a bit harder to hold the wheel just because the surges are so intense like if dan suddenly brings it up 50 watts i have to do 50 watts straight away well, on the flat if you do that you can sort of like just slightly in increase your cadence or whatever and you sort of close the gaps a bit faster because we've got no momentum you really have to surge up so again we go up to 400 watts here <sighs> i'm at 60 kilos and dan is um a fair few kilos heavy about 86 or something so this is incredible incredible wattage from dan i think the road surface probably does favor heavier riders just because they're going to be putting out more power so the rolling resistance is about the same between heavy riders and smaller riders especially on like it's probably a little bit larger for heavy riders just because they're a bit heavier putting more uh, force on the tires but it's not that crazy um, so this road probably does help like a lot but some of the watts definitely are like more than usual time like, I'm just going to get over the road surface because it's like it was sort of gravelly but not really great gravel um, this is more this is actually tarmac but it gets onto gravel but uh, you'll see what happens on the gravel so you can see it's getting up to 16% here for a little bit of time it's been over 15 for like a couple hundred meters and that really does hurt the legs um, we're still going well we're going up like 13 k's an hour we're going up like a 12% gradient which is pretty good like um, the wind today, I don't think there was much wind really um, on that climb particularly. You can see I sort of dropped the wheel here, but when we get back on, it's, it's all right. Um, so you can see with a little draft on this climb, 16 k's now, you get a little bit, but not really. And starting to flatten off, I'm like, all right, if we just keep this pace, I'm, I'll feel pretty comfortable. But for 15 minutes, I can hold about three, I, my, my PR is about 325, 330 watts for 15 minutes. So uh, like at this 
Com like uh, so this sort of cadence, uh, uh, this power. So I, I was pretty comfortable. I was like, all right, there, this should be all right. So we got over two of the kickers, and then there's this one which then starts to ramp up, and this is when it was really hard. Um, I remember just looking down at my wahoo, seeing all the red lights on. I was like, oh no! Looking at the number, because I have watts three sec, this is three, three second average. I saw 400 watts about here, and I was like, ah, oh, this hurts so much. Like, this is just brutal. And I just could not imagine continuing it for the whole climb. But I think I think the thing is, after this, it started to flatten off and then it got a bit easier. But this is when you just gotta be like, hold the wheel. Just don't, don't mess around and just like, do it as hard as you can. Like, I definitely could have gone a lot harder here, but you'll see in a bit, I'm still holding the wheel. It started, started to slow down a bit and I was like, all right, this is good, this is good. But it's still like 13, 14%. So you're getting no draft at all. Like, we're doing just the same. Well, he's doing probably way more watts. We're doing the same watts per kilo, pretty much. And it's just like, gets up 16, 17% and we get to the gravel. I'm like, oh, here we go, it's gonna be downhill. So I sort of like let my guard off a little bit, not really concentrating, this happens to me a lot, like on the gravel. And I'm like, ah, nah, I'm too tired. And cheerio to Dan. So yeah, cheers for watching. Uh, that was the end, he dropped me. And I'll see you in the next vid.